step in, step in. Okay. Okay. Now, if I patch like this, see? I have no, my pelvic is not forward. I have no bottom triangle, okay? But I get lazy and I train like this, and then I punch. I, see, this, this, this looks good, right? It looks good, okay? But it only looks good because he's not giving me resistance. He's my training partner, okay? We're friends, right? So, if you keep practicing like this, okay? He steps in and punch. I see my pelvic is retreating, okay? Then I come in, right? Right? And I do all this. Okay? It looks good. I can do anything. Right? I can do anything and it looks good. But my hip is not right. My pelvic is not forward. Okay? It only works because we're training. Okay? He's not giving me resistance. Okay? But now, John is a MMA guy. He's a grappler. He's a boxer. He's a kickboxer. His hands are up. Okay? And I try to use the same move, okay? So John punches with the rear hand, right? Yeah, like a, like a boxer, right? He comes in, I go like this, I go like this, okay? My pelvic is not right, okay? But he keeps pressuring me in, come forward. See, I can't stop him. I can't stop him. I can't stop his pressure, his body pressure, okay? So already, that, that's how come a lot of people, it work, it seems to work, in, while we're training, but then you try to do it in sparring with people who are in different disciplines, especially MMA guys, they, it doesn't work. Especially grapplers, right? They're going to take you right off your feet, okay? Because you're not practicing this part, okay? So, if my pelvic is forward, right? John, John, elbows in. Now, my pelvic is forward, okay? John pushes into me. Push, 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 push. See? I can hold his, I can stop his power. See? But I lose it just even a little bit. I, there's no way. I can't stop it. So when you're practicing, you have to make sure that when your partner, you punch and you're doing drills like this, that your hip, your pelvic is always on. It's always on. And while you're moving, Right? It, you never lose this part. You never lose this part. Right? So that if he ever pushes into you, you can hold his power. You can hold his weight. You can sink his pressure into your feet. Because my hip is forward. My pelvic tilt is forward. See? Okay? So when you're training, you, can, you have to practice that pelvic tilt. And it all goes back to your seal and towel form. When you're doing seal and towel, Right? And the, uh, the first part, your hip, your, t your pelvic has to come forward. And your bottom triangle has to get set. Now the rest of the, the, rest of the, the form, okay? You move, but you can never lose this part. Never lose. If you're doing your ceiling top form, and I'm constantly losing my bottom triangle, okay? It's wrong. It's wrong. So when you're doing your seal and towel form, you have to practice. When you're training with a partner, you have to practice. When you're doing sensitivity drills, like Don Chi, Fuxa, square, okay? You have to have your pelvic forward. Your pelvic tilt has to be there, okay? If it's not here, I'm going like this, and he pressures me, punch, punch, okay? And come into me, punch, punch. I can't stop him, keep coming, I can't stop him. I have to keep my pelvic in front, or the tilt there, it has to be there, all the time. I can't let it go. I have to hold it, lock it, never let it go. When you're training, when you're fighting, when you're sparring, now I'm here, he, he comes in and he comes forward, gives me a lot of body power, see, I can fight him with my hip, see, and then drop, see. If you lose the pelvic tilt, your body is forced to use your shoulder. Well, he gives me pressure, pressure. I have to now put, punch straight. I have to stop him with my shoulder now. There's no way, no way, okay? After a while, your shoulder's gonna get sore, right? So, whenever you're training, you have to remember to set your bottom triangle, okay? That means toes in, knees in, 
Drop your knees, bend your knees so that you can't see your toes. And the most important part, your pelvic has to be tilted forward and locked. Okay? The whole time you train. Okay? So remember these details when you train, you practice. Don't lose your bottom triangle. Okay? And you'll always be able to hold power or nullify power. Thank you very much. And